name is Carol Singletary, and my address is 4871 Gary Lane, Valdosta, Georgia, 31601. And I wish I had Toastmaster skills, but I'm just a mom. <laughs> and I have a really strong concern, and I'm desperately asking for your help. Um, I'm sure all of y'all are aware of the Sable Trail proposed pipeline. Now, I know that through the city of Valdosta there was a route, and I'm going to be honest with you, we all know that was a Trojan proposal because they're moving all of that to the outskirts of Lowndes County. But the thing about it is we have homes and we have families out there, and there's absolutely no reason to run this through our property. Um, I reached out to Sable Trail, asked them for a detailed copy of the map, so I could try to find some other property owners so we could you know, get together um, because at the meeting when we went there, they kind of just, there were more of them than there were of us. So as soon as you tried to talk to somebody, they just kind of spirited people away. So we couldn't even, as landowners, figure out what was going on. And um, so it's just the fact that they won't respond. There's a meeting that's coming out. I went to my neighbor, and he doesn't even know the pipeline is coming through the Lowndes County. They only notified me, an impacted person. But you, if you don't have it coming through your land, you're not going to know anything about it. And we're being told, no, come on, Miss Singletary, you know, just sign this piece of paper. And if you do, then we'll let you have some input on how this is going to run through your land. But if you don't sign, and we have to take you to court for eminent domain, then you have no input. Well, that's wrong. That's extortion. That's not right. That's not a way to do anybody in Lowndes County. And you can actually go to the FERC website. In fact, everybody in here can do this. They can go on and they can file an e-comment that says, we don't want this coming from our county, and if it does have to come through, keep it on right away. You can run it down to I-75 if they wanted to. You can also go on the FERC website and you can be, and I'm not going to get the word right, an inter, interceder. I know I don't have it right, I'm sorry. But that way you can go on and say, hey, you know, I have strong concerns that I don't want this coming through our county besides just listing a generic concern. Um, I've asked for them to stop these meetings that they have planned because there's just too many, many people who don't know about it. And how can you make getting that information out to all the Lowndes County citizens incumbent upon me, you know, housewife at work, and I know I don't have the knowledge of the political clout to go out there, but they've got all the money, and if y'all don't help us, then we're not going to have any resources. So I went to the county commission office. You know, basically that's what they said. And I said, you know, please don't give up. You haven't even tried yet. I thought I had found something in the eminent domain statutes that will actually let you go on and file as um, under the under um, the environmental portion that will give you a say about what's going on. And it's under the eminent domain um, statute. So there's a lot that you can do. And as leaders of our community, you know, if you don't stand up and help us, then who else do we have to go to? So, you know, please, you know, look at that. Please go to FERC. Please let them know that you're just not welcomed in our county. We're not getting anything out of this. It's, it's the city of Valdosta getting compensated for this coming through. From what I could read, I couldn't tell that you were. But if you want, please let me know. <laughs> but it's just, it's got to be something that we get support from our leadership that will help us stop this. I mean, for me to be told if you don't sign here, you're not going to have a voice in what happens on your property, that we're just going to take it. They said that they were supposed to be looking at alternate routes. We suggested several, no responses. And I was just told yesterday, it's coming through your land, Ms. Singletary. And they're pre-filing this that they were supposed to be open to alternate routes. Well, obviously that they're not, so they're not even acting in good faith. And we just need your help. We desperately need your help. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs>